Welcome to PC Perspective, I'm Ryan Shrout. In this video, we're going to be looking at the new Antec 1100 chassis that shares a lot of the same features as the recently released P280 model. There are some interesting changes though that I think are worth checking out. Much like the P280 before it, the 1100 case builds on some of the previous gaming series designs from Antec, yet adds new features to bring it up to the level of other new cases in this expanded marketplace. By adding in features like cable routing holes, native support for 2.5 inch drives, and additional cooling support, Antec is hoping to attract users looking for a bit more performance in their system build. The 1100 is technically considered a mid-tower case, though it does have support for 13-inch graphics cards and has nine available expansion slots, so you should have more than enough room for multiple GPUs. Whereas the P280 had the door on the front, the 1100 is almost exclusively a metal mesh material to allow for the maximum amount of airflow to the components encased within. At the top of the case, you will find four USB ports, two of which are USB 3.0, along with your audio connections. The power and reset buttons are located on the very top. The front of the case houses a pair of 120mm fans that do include a fan filter. Unlike the P280 though, the entire front panel of the case has to be pulled off to access and clean the filter, and while this is completely functional for all intents and purposes, we are always wary of taking off the front of cases like this for fear of eventually breaking off one or more of the plastic clips. The side panel of the 1100 includes a window with space for two more 120mm fans and includes rubber grommets to help reduce noise after installation. Under the component side door though is one of my favorite features, a power supply intake fan filter that can be removed without having to tilt or move your case. While the top of the P280 held space for two 120mm fans or radiator, the 1100 actually includes a very large 200mm fan that is able to run quietly while still moving a lot of air. The fan includes a pretty bright blue LED, though Antec gives you the ability to turn it off via a rear switch if you want. The back shows a bottom mounted power supply housing, the nine available expansion slots, and another 120 millimeter exhaust fan. An interesting twist for this design is a 120 millimeter fan location that points directly at the opening on the back of the motherboard tray. While this might seem a bit overkill for most users, and it probably is, more cooling and airflow is rarely a bad idea. The air from this fan will cool basically the entire back of the motherboard and then flow out the rear opening where the cables are routed. The door assembly is just like that on the P280 with a pair of thumb screws, and I do still wish we would have seen the spring style screws that stay on the door and can't be lost or misplaced. The doors on the 1100 are not lined with any kind of sound dampening material, foam or polycarbonate. Instead of a focus on sound levels, the 1100 stays focused on performance. Despite the mid-tower branding, the 1100 still offers a lot of room for building a system that actually will support XL ATX motherboards. There are six openings for power and data cable routing, including four of them with rubber grommets. The one in the top left is still my favorite though, as it was built specifically for those pesky 8-pin ATX power connectors. There is a toolless installation location for two more 120 millimeter fans right behind the hard drive bays that makes installation incredibly easy, though without rubber pads or screws, I worry about noise from even slight vibrations. The three optical drive bays are toolless, and the six available hard drive bays are nice too. Unlike the P280 that use trays with rubber pads on them, the 1100 uses rail mounts that attach easily to the screw holes on your hard drive. Taking off the back of the panel shows us the 30 millimeters of space Antec built in to allow for easy cable routing behind the motherboard, as well as the very large opening on the motherboard tray to accommodate new CPU cooler installations. There are quite a few areas for cable ties and plenty of room behind the drive bays to route your SATA power and data cables. Another difference between this 1100 and the P280 is seen on the feet of the case. The P280 had rubber bottom ones, whereas the 1100 is plastic only. The new Antec 1100 is currently selling for $119, about 20 bucks less than the P280. And with the lack of some features like noise dampening material and the front swinging door, this fits in line with expectations. Both share the majority of the primary feature sets since they are built on the same base chassis. Things like the rubber grommeted openings for cable routing, XL ATX motherboard support, front panel USB 3.0 connections, and the side axis fan filter will be there whichever model you select. Still, with the side window and the capacity to install six total 120 millimeter fans, this model should outperform the P280 in terms of cooling. I'm Ryan Trout for PC Perspective. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out PCPer.com for more reviews and information on everything PC hardware.